Lord, it's a blessing to be able to think about what God has done for us. And I don't, um, I don't take it lightly. When, uh, when I read scriptures like, Behold, a virgin shall have a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. And I'm so glad this morning that God resides in our hearts. I'm so glad that God gave his, his only begotten son. I'm so glad he was born. He was born for me and you. For the sins of the whole world, he died. But there's one more thing I was telling, telling my Sunday school class this morning. For all of us, this is the time when we're sitting around our, our tables and at our homes. And we have our grandkids, uh, they're sitting around and our children sitting around. This is the time to tell them the greatest gift was ever given to us was Jesus Christ. All the presents under the tree, all the stuff around the tree, and the dinner on the table, and all that. But what, what, what does mean something is Jesus Christ. This is the reason for it. This is the reason for the season. The greatest gift God gave to me and you. That's the greatest gift. Behold the Lamb. Oh, yeah. 
Sunday, we shared with you about Zacharias' song, the Benedictus. Today, we share with you Mary's song, the Magnificent. How many of us know it's good to have a song? Yes, sir. We ought to thank God for giving us a song. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The magnificent Mary's song. Mm -hmm. This passage of scripture has become one of the great hymns of the church, the Magnificat, mm -hmm. comes from the Latin word magnify. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, Magnifies. Mm -hmm. Magnify is to praise. Mm -hmm. yes. The highly Song said, I will praise the name of God with song and will magnify him. 
him with thanksgiving. You know I need to ask you this morning. Has God ever done anything for you? Has God ever done anything in your life? Sure God has. He brought us out of darkness and into this marvelous light. He's given us salvation. He's blessed our families. Oh, bless the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. We can praise him for his love. We can praise him for his favor. We can praise him for his might. We can praise him for his mercy. We can praise him for his grace. We can praise him for his goodness. We can praise him for his promises. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Yeah. 
is that God owes us nothing. He, he owes us nothing, but we have received from him everything, and we are just marvel just to be a part. Anybody marvel this morning just to be a part of God's blessing? Elizabeth was marvel. Mary was marveled. Elizabeth assured Mary that her faith would be abundantly rewarded. Yeah. Her expectation would be fulfilled and that she had not believed in vain and that her baby would be born as God had promised yeah. and would bless her for believing God's word. As she was waiting for God's promises to come to pass. Listen, how many of us know that whatever God promises, God is yet able to do? Listen, it may not look like it. Listen, things may even seem to be headed in an opposite direction. But I need to encourage somebody today and tell you to hold on and keep on believing. In God's word, keep on standing on the promises of God. For God is not only a promise maker, but God is a promise keeper. And if God promises you something, you can stand alone on the word of God. Understand that this was not a casual affair. Yes, 
Mary and Elizabeth. They both recognized a sense of respect that reflects the fear of the Lord. How many of us know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge? But fools despise wisdom and instruction. For well, the Bible says that the first step to wisdom is the fear of the Lord. That means to honor and respect. Yeah, respect God to be in all of God's power. And Mary was humble. She was humbled by this relationship. She was humbled by the fact that she was highly favored of God. You know, favor. It means to show preferential treatment. You know, it means uh, to give advantage to another. And to give special favor. No, to favor means to show preferential treatment. Mm -hmm. However, favor with God, it implies blessed <coughs> events yes, sir. out yes, sir. of the ordinary. Uh -huh. yes. I mean, uncommon stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Extra ordinary. Uh -huh. yes. Unusual. Yes. Notable events. Mm -hmm. God's willingness is to do for you what you can't do for yourself. Is there a witness here? I'm talking about God's faith. Yes, please understand that just because we have God's favor, that doesn't mean that we won't have hardship in life. How many of us know that? All she had to do was just go and start talking about a a divine conception. Uh -huh. You know, she could have been stoned to death. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, that would have been hard to swallow. Mm -hmm. You know, this was a part of the plan that she would bear all of her life because how many of us know that ministry uh -huh. is risky? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's risky. She could have been shunned. She could have been ridiculed. She could have been stoned. All kind of malicious rumors could have been spread about her. Joseph could have left her according to 
Jesus. Oh, they put a base on the head to protect you. 